Karen, what's the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear that word? Entitlement? Victim? Causing a scene? Well, how about Karens who aren't the victim? What if they were concerned people who just wanted to make sure that no kids were harmed? I highly doubt that. And if we did run encounter one, please let me know. And ignore that flying balloon. It's for my mother. So, welcome my dazzling darlings. This is Iso Gem here. And today we're going to be doing our very first Karen compilation. So, I'm going to be ranking these Karens from, Car from not Karen to, to Mega Karen. Or Super Saiyan Karen. Whatever you like to call it. But these are going to be compilations of me reacting to Karens. And I'm probably going to do a series about these because everybody loves to see a Karen fall. So, we all know about Karens. They're dangerous. They're a threat of society. They're running over the world. They're running the world. Like Beyonce in her music video, Who Run the World? Girls. But apparently replace that with Karen and bam, you got yourself a sequel. So, Karens. We all know what they are. We all know that they're a threat, but what we don't know is that some of them may be innocent. Some of them may be guilty. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Only time will tell. But for now, let's see if any of these Karens are as innocent as they claim to be. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But definitely they're not, because apparently all Karens are entitled, and so I would know from experience. So, let's begin with our very first Karen. Enjoy. Okay, so this happened about two years ago. This is Crazy Karen. She called the village a hundred times. Karen almost ran over me and her boyfriend. She plowed up the curb into my yard. Two years ago, village sent a letter that I'm parking my car in a vacant lot in... The vacant lot is my yard. So I park in the public street. What? What? Get off my property. Get off my property right now. Get off my property now. Go over there. It's not your property. Go over there. It's not your property. You're going to be arrested, Pam. I will. You're going to be arrested right now. On his yard? Call them. No, no, I'm taking pictures. Pam, get pictures for us. Good. Call them. Pam. Call the cops. It's 911. I'm good. I'm good. It's 911. You're good. Goodbye, Pam. You're good. Goodbye, Pam. Good. Move your freaking car out it's, of my spot. No, that that's my spot. That's street. It's not. You you called the town. Wait, wait, I let me tell you. Let, let me tell town. you. Let me tell you. The town. I never called the town. Pam, Pam, you don't want me parking my cars here. So now I'm going to park them in the street. Nobody called the town. Pam, Pam, Pam I, I don't believe call, you. Pam, I don't believe you have you. emotional prop. What? 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 Village sent letter that I park it my car in a vacant lot. When it's his yard! So that's basically... You're basically parking your car on another person's property. They could literally just tow that car into another... They literally could just tow that car to a junkyard. I'm surprised he didn't done that. This guy is nice. This guy here, he's nice. Problems. Oh my god! Go. Oh my Livio, god! Livio, see, see, this is what I'm saying. Oh Livio. Oh they come in my yard like... I would never go in your yard. There's boundaries. Bam, bam, bam. I'm calling the cops bam. now. Goodbye. And she almost ran over bam. him. Get him inside the house. I will get inside the house. I have emotional problems. Pam, you have anger problems. Hey. Don't push on my door. Okay, that is so true. Some people do have anger problems, but apparently this It's a it's a it's his yard. Call the people! Call the people! Call the people! And see if this is not his yard! Confirm it right now! Get it over with! Okay, on a scale of one... On a scale of no Karen to... To Super Karen, I'm gonna name this one... I'm gonna name this one... Cocky Karen. I'm gonna name this one... Or... Or... Absent-minded Karen. Absent-minded Karen. Absent-minded Karen for this one. On to the next one. Pam, you have anger problems. Hey. Don't push on my door. I'm moving. All right. What? But don't push my door, brother. I'm not the one you think I am, brother. I will take 20 years of the military and beat your ass. You understand me? Okay. Wh okay. What's the context of the story here? 
So apparently he was pushing a door? But what door? Don't you ever disrespect nobody from this hotel. You understand me? Because I'm not the motherfucker you think I am. You understand me? Ain't no me, boy. Ain't no cameras out this motherfucker. We ain't in the hotel no more. I'm recording you right now. I don't now. give a fuck what you do. <laughs> okay? Don't get up. Now on get out my hotel. I am. Get out. I am. Walk oh, away from oh, me. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who did what? Think I am. Let me try that. Let me check this again. Pam, you're Let me check this again. Hey. Don't push up my door. I'm gonna But don't push my door, brother. I'm not the one you think I am, brother. I will take 20 years of the military and beat your ass. You understand me? If she's recording this, why don't you re repeat what happened? Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm guessing these two couple was being rude in a hotel. The manager kicked them out because they were disturbing the peace. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Oh, we need more details. No, get out. Because you don't have no room here. And you're here disturbing my thing. You cussing at my receptionist. I did not. You threatening my receptionist. Get out of here. Get out. Called it. I'm walking away. If you No, you ain't walking away. You're standing here. Would give me some. Girl, do yourself a favor and just walk, please. You're literally... Girl, you're better off just walking away before someone gets hurt. I and I don't need her. Get out of here. Not, I did get not out. Her. I'm walking away. If you no, would no, you ain't me, walking away. You're standing you here. Would give me some Goodbye. space, Goodbye. dude. Goodbye. 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 Uh, she ain't moving. And I don't hear any one of them even apologizing, so... I'm gonna call this one a draw because we didn't get a lot of context on that one, but please someone in the comments clear up what what happened. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, so I was uh Karen goes buck wild, okay. Okay, so um let me try to ref let me try to collect what happened. So basically they entered the hotel, they were being rude to receptionists, they were cussing because they didn't get a room there, and the manager had to literally kick them out. So that's what I'm guessing, so... But I'm... Could someone please put some information down below so that way I can actually put the pieces together? I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this one is... A Karen goes buck wild. About what? What do we do? Call Nancy and ask her what we do. I'm not walking down there. I'll take a heart attack and then I'll sue you. Call Nancy, tell her the funeral people didn't make it on. What do we do? I'm not leaving here. What? Sorry, I had the shot. I'm sure you did too. Wait, okay, so this is the airport. They walked us down together. The lady came. The supervisor called you guys. The supervisor, okay, something of all the supervisors. They had a mistake with my luggage. The supervisor called. Oh, so, so there, there was a mistake with it. Figure out what we do. So they were having a mistake with their luggage, and apparently she's going berserk about it because this Where is a. <laughs> Have a blessed day, man. You know, you saw us coming in and we were screaming. Not Scott's got your back. Trust me. Where are we going? We were here at like 4 30 in the morning. She lost her luggage, and apparently she made a big scene about it? It's the airport! Luggage ends up getting mixed up all the time! This isn't the first time! On a scale of one to Karen, I'm giving that one... Calm and Karen, because apparently it wasn't a big scene, but... She did cause somewhat of a scene, but not too big. And nobody got hurt, so... I'll give that one... Uh... Calm and Karen. I take that back. This became a common Karen to a family Karen. Just because they saw you doesn't mean you could have been the same person, genius. Where the fuck up? Karen goes wild at Burger King. Hey! 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 I worked at Domino's. My friend worked at McDonald's. We can uh, probably both agree that we do not have a customer like this at all, but I can probably say without a shadow of a doubt 
that if a customer does walk in like this, I would so record it, I would so call the police, I would so show them the footage because honestly, this was path this is pathetic. People have no patience. We are not, just because we're called fast food doesn't mean we're always fast. Doesn't mean we're always fast. True story. Basically, I do work at Domino's. Y'all know this. And apparently, we have to do, we have to do deliveries first before we do carryouts. Because apparently, we prioritize delivery first over carryouts. And a lot of people were a little upset about it. I don't blame them. And apparently, we have been getting a little bit, a couple of complaints about food not being ready yet. But we have some people who are quite understanding. We have people who are quite understanding, which is good. But then we have customers who don't understand and are actually throwing a hissy fit about it. So this is no different. This is honestly no different. So let's go ahead and watch this one and let's see if she gets controlled. She grabbed the phone. My gosh! The poor phone! The poor phone! She gotta be a crackhead. She has to be a crackhead. Because there's no way a sane person would do something like this. My goodness. Call the police on her! Give my shit, bitch. On a scale of normal Karen from a non-Karen to Super Saiyan Karen, that need that Karen is she needs anger management. <laughs> I'm gonna give her crazy Karen because apparently th that Karen definitely has anger issues. Definitely have angers anger issues. You can tell. You can honestly tell. I think that she is a mother of so many kids and she just had enough and she has to just get off on something, but apparently this might be it. This honestly might be it. Okay, so this was a what the can you little dog barking at growling at Yuki? Okay. <laughs> Like, that's illegal. You can't have a pet in the store. That's, that's... Then you shouldn't have your dog in the store, ma'am. It's illegal. It's against the law. This is my service animal. As you can see, she's well-behaved. Oh! Okay. Now that explains a lot. So this is a service animal. What she had wasn't a service animal. She's saying that that dog attacked her dog, yet I don't see the dog moving at all. He's just staring. I even had the no- You keep post- Yeah. Wow, she, they're literally arguing about her dog, yet her- Yet this poor girl's dog is literally behaving. The Karen's dog is literally just yapping, 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 yapping. This one literally behave. He's literally being quiet. Can we just hurry up? Aww. Uh, Poor girl. Poor girl. Aww. She's a medical alert. I don't believe it. That Karen literally wouldn't get rid of her dog. Oh my word. <laughs> On a scale of no Karen to super Karen, that one gets. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, so apparently that I had no idea what it was about, so I'm just gonna skip this one. I'm just gonna get this one. Okay. Okay, so about. 
Okay, so I'm gonna skip that one because apparently that one before was a little confusing because I don't know who what who was who the Karen, so I'm just gonna say a draw on that one. So here's another Karen part two. Karen is calling the police after I made her leave my house. A lot of context. Like you just can't just put Karen part two, blah blah blah. So I'm just gonna put this one a draw as well. What yeah. happens when I play music not loud while I clean my yard? Mind you, he records me while I clean. So I have to record to protect myself, since cops do nothing. What? Here's the incident report. For having music at my own house. They're weird. What's wrong with music? Unless it's a certain kind of music that they're listening to. Probably Nicki Minaj again. Honestly, that girl... <laughs> He's the pro Ugh. Well, since we got some context, I can probably put two and two together, but yeah, that kind of makes a lot of sense. So basically, this guy right here is tr apparently they're trying to clean the yard, but apparently their music was playing a little too loud. So I kind of see why they had no choice but to record. But honestly, it's so hard to def it's so hard to be safe now because people could just record stuff and put it on YouTube. You can't do anything without being judged. This is what your tax money is going to. Noise complaints. Your hard-earned money for nothing. Tax dollars, guys. This is what your money is being spent on. You ain't wrong there. I wish these people would pay their own bloody bills so that way I can finally get some pieces to my PC so I can finally upgrade Help me can... by sharing to get this fool arrested okay, for wasting okay. resources. Share, please. I wish you could be a little more positive about that myself. What? So, on a scale of non Karen to, su to Super Saiyan Karen, I'm just gonna call this one. Yeah, Karen and a half. <laughs> Karen and a half. Okay, so dog fights at Home Depot, lady. Home Depot. Lady is mad her dog lost. What? That poor woman! That poor girl is just more concerned about her purse! Whose dog? What? Which dog? What? It's leaving bodybuilding something. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I I'm so lost. So basically, those women's dogs literally f lost to a big dog like that? They were crying all because this woman's dog beat their dog. The dog is literally this big! Dog is gonna lose to something a three a little bigger than it. Size actually does matter. On a scale of non-Karen to Super Saiyan Karen, this Karen gets Cry Baby Karen. <laughs> My goodness. I am so glad I don't know. Why. Something that was most difficult for me was enjoying the meal I love most. Dessert! 
in a way to reclaim that, I decided I wanted to carve out a space so that I both could and would enjoy my favorite meal. And that's how the Cheesecake Factory Power Rankings were born. This year, I'm going to be trying every cheesecake on the Cheesecake Factory menu and power ranking them so I can really find out what cheesecakes are the best. I never want to cry over food again, at least the bad kind of crying. <laughs> and I'm never waiting for another cheat day. So follow me to see which cheesecake I try next. <laughs> we see you, Emily. Say what? Uh, okay, okay. Apparently, this Karen uh, just uh, just wanted some cheesecake. Why don't you? Uh, 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 <sighs> Do yourself a favor, honey. Why don't you go just date Shrek? They'll, he'll give you tons of cheesecake, and therefore you'll be able to solve your problems. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Uh, when you thought you ran into a Karen, but it's an Emily. An Emily? What about it? What about it? What about it? It's not funny. So you telling me how to play my music? You trying to tell me how to play my music? I love it. Oh, oh, you like it? What I'm listening to then? Yeah, so play it louder. Please? Play it louder? She want to chill, but this ain't no kickback. Pass it to my teammate, I assist it. Straight to the jet, then I'm gone. That girl does not just get a no, Karen. She gets a free pass. <laughs> okay. Wow, 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to end this video here. So that's our Karen compilation for the moment. I would have to say this Karen probably tops all the other Karens on this list, hands down. Wow, what a way to start a series. Wow, what a way to start a series with a very overhyped over Karen. Complain about her food being late. Yeah, this is the yet yeah, that's the fast food business. You're gonna have slow work because some people don't want to work. I know. My sisters both worked at McDonald's, and believe me, none of them wanted to work. None of those workers wanted to work. They both tried their hardest to stay alive. Down the drain. Whose fault was that? Management. I know you're watching this because apparently you're worried about me to see if I wanted to have an order for you, which I'm not because apparently your business is going to sink. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button. It really means a lot to me to do that. Check out some other videos you do think you might like that's coming at the end of the video. Subscribe today. Totally free. Really free. Really means a lot to me to do that. Check out some other videos you do think you might like, like I said, at the end of the video. Discord server, link in the description box down below as well. You can't miss it. Really, you can't. If you want to watch the original video for yourself, all you gotta do is just go down there, click on the link, support the person who actually did the compilation. They actually did a really good job finding some juicy Karens. So, I'm gonna end this video here, and as always, I will see you all in the coming video. And this is Stay shining, my dazzling darling. Stay shining.